I was not trying walking in the spirit, walking in the spirit. What does walking in the spirit means to me? Walking in the spirit to me means that every single decision I make, it is going to be as a result of what the scripture says. So if I'm about to feel sad, what does the scripture says about me feeling sad? If I'm about to, to shout for joy, what does the scripture say about me shouting for joy? If I'm about to feel rejected or isolated, what does the scripture what does the scripture means for me? And I realized that as I as I, as I as I took on the identity of actually walking in the spirit and allowing all my thoughts to come from the spirit of God, I realized realized that I was now focusing outward. I was now focusing on the master. I was able for the first time in my life to say, all right, God, what do you think? I, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm sad about this. What do you think? I'm, I'm, I feel rejected. What do you think? And you know what? One of the things that I realize as well is that God says he is always with me. So there was a thought, there was a thought process there that was developing a stronghold in my life to say, no, God is never with you. You are rejected and as a result, you need to be isolated. But God was saying, no, my, my word says I am always with you. So what I had to do in that process of getting my victory was actually to believe that God is always there. Praise God. I had to tap into that reality that guess what no matter what i feel my feeling does not or does not always align with the word of god and as a result when i when i felt rejected i looked to the word of god to know that you know what jesus christ has accepted me just as i am jesus christ has spoken to me already i don't need to be to be fearful i don't need to to, to fear that i'm going to be rejected by man because god already accepted me i don't i didn't need to feel sad because guess what the bill wasn't paid or i couldn't go to the doctor or whatever whatever the things whatever thing whatever things came my way i submit them right back to the knowledge of god and when when the things that came in my mind did not did not align with what the word of god says then I submitted it captive to the thought of Christ. I put it under God and said, you know what, God, I believe what your word says. No, I must say that in, in the time of me getting my victory from um from 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 the norm, from um 2009 and, and walking in this victory, my feelings have not always aligned with what my my words were saying. My feelings have never always aligned with what my thought process was. My feeling, my emotions did not always say, you know what, this is what the word of God said and we're going to do it. No. It, the, the victory of God coming through and saying, Sean, this is what my word say. Walk in my word. Walk after my word. And I, and I just feel, and, and, and I could just feel the prayer of Jesus saying, God, if I know that this is your word, but you know what? I don't feel like it right now. Could you make this cup pass? You know, but Jesus decided, you know what? I, I want to walk in the word. And I am happy today. After a few years, I still continue just to walk in this victory. Walk in this um in, in this word to say anything that comes into my mind that does not glorify the Father, I put it under subjection to the word and have God take care of it. So I want to encourage somebody. You might be feeling rejected. You might be feeling oppressed by the spirit of rejection or depression or whatever the spirit is. Guess what? Stop focusing on you and focus on the master because guess what? When you focus on the master and his word, when you start walking in that in the spirit, you're not going to fulfill what your flesh is driving you to. God bless you.